before we get into the video, please remember to subscribe, please turn your notification bell on, please do like, comment, share and follow me on my social media handles. Today I am making a very delicious soup. I wouldn't be adding any meat and I'm telling you it's going to be so 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 delicious. Let us start with the ingredients then. Over here I've got some dried fish, I've got some grilled king fish, I've got some dried um, prawns, some dried herrings and some other dry fish as well and of course I've got my island fruits. Over here as well I've got my ginger, garlic, onion, pepper, tomatoes, some mixed mushrooms, I've got the palm nut cream that I would be using. Over here I've got some cumin seeds, cloves, African nuts, make. I'll be listing all the ingredients below this video. And I've got my turkey berries full of iron. Yes, we're gonna add that to this um, soup. Got some salt, some garden eggs and some okra. So I'll be starting by dicing one of the red onion and one of the white onions. And I would blend the ginger and the garlic as well to go with the fish. And the leftover um, onions would be added to the steaming fish and I would um, take them out and blend them later on. If you have been watching Avi's Fishing Cooking channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe so that I can bring you more videos. <laughs> so now I'll add my cumin seeds, my cloves, grain of saline, and African nutmeg, and a tablespoon of salt to the mortar, and I'm going to grind everything together. And don't forget, I'll be listing all the ingredients below this video. So grind everything till you obtain um, an almost smooth consistency, like I always say. Before placing your uh, dried fish in your pot, make sure you've washed your dried fish very well. Yeah, I didn't know. Aha, and the bono, yeah, I know we be a mona weji. If you be a womb, be a yana the bono, I am not a fita womb. Yes, I was just saying, uh, with the cut dried cut fish, sometimes, um, the chest has got some um, impurities in there, so make sure you take them all out. So now I'm, I'm adding the um, sliced onions, and I'm going to now blend my ginger and garlic and I've added about 200 ml of water to blend with it and I'm adding the blended garlic and ginger with some water to the fish now I'm going to add the spices that I grinded remember I'm not going to be using any cube no cube I'm just going to add that tablespoon of salt and my natural spices i'm adding an additional 200 ml of water to it and i'm going to make sure i stir it so 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 gently because we don't want the fish to come apart you know and per se fish you know a baby boo my can get it aha so i am now adding the leftover onions and the tomatoes to the pot and all the soup i've added my pepper as well and i'll cover it and go and roast my iron fruit so i have roasted it and i make sure i divided it on the side so that the aroma of the iron fruit can come out into the soup so i've placed that in the soup as well and i've placed on the side another pan full of water the soup or the fish is cooking nicely so i would go and blend the turkey berries or the abedu or kwen yes yeah, so i've blended it with some water and i'll sieve the nutritious juice out of it you all know 
Turkey berries are full of iron, right? Yes. In Ghana, it is being consumed in the raw form. Yes. Yeah, so some people do believe that um, when you are anemic and then you take um, turkey berries or you blend turkey berries in its raw form and then squeeze the juices out of it, it can help boost your iron levels. Yes. So some anemic uh, people do consume um, turkey berries um, in its fresh state. I would stir everything together and cover it up. In the meantime, I've opened the palm nut cream and I will be placing it in the hot water. So I would add all the cream of palm nuts into the water. My banga cream is going in the hot water. Yes, we are going to boil our palm nuts um, cream before adding it to our main um, pot of soup. This soup is going to be so 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 delicious. <laughs> So stir everything very well in the hot water till you see no traces of the cream in the hot water. Let's check on our other soup and let's see how it's doing. So the tomatoes are cooked as I want it to, to be. So I'll take them all out. I'll take the tomatoes, the pepper, the onions, all of them out to blend and add it back to the soup. So this is what I'm going to blend and I'll be adding the mushrooms to the soup now. The soup has been on the fire for about 30 minutes now and you can see the palm nuts boiling so beautifully on the other side. The palm nuts cream and the hot water. I will now add my okra, okra and I'll be adding the garden eggs or eggplants. You know I love garden eggs in my palm nut soup in quite you beco square rough so I'm going to cover it now and I can testify to you that this soup is going to be delicious <laughs> I added my pepper that I'll be mashing into the soup whilst I'm eating it and I'm going to add my blended onions pepper and tomatoes I added some water as well to rinse it I added about um, 200 ml to rinse the blender jug and I added it to the soup I'll stir it a little bit I'm just being careful because I don't want the fish to separate the palm nut cream has boiled so beautifully it's cooked so nicely but one thing with my palm nut soup is i don't like a lot of oil in my palm nut soup so when i boil it on the side this way i scoop almost all the oil out of my palm nut in some way you get to have palm nut oil as well which you can use to prepare other dishes that require palm nuts oil. So look at me scooping all the oil out of this soup. <laughs> less oil, less oil. That's the thing now. Less, less oil. So I'll scoop as much as I can. Well, the, there was enough after I've turned the far off there was still um, more for me it was lots of oil so i had to scoop them all out again yes so i am going to add the palm nuts to the big 
khó So add everything in there And then stir your soup together at the end mm. The soup is almost ready because remember we cooked the palm nuts on the side so it's not going to take too long before this soup becomes ready mm -mm -mm. so i let it cook for 15 minutes more and the soup ah look at how beautiful it is looking look at how, how nice this soup is looking and of course i had to pair it with my no pound fufu uh -huh. if you haven't watched my video on how i do make my microwave fufu please do go and check it out on this channel <laughs> so palm nut soup or panga soup can pair with almost everything mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye bye